Hello everyone, welcome to the Redman TV. Liverpool just drawn one all with Man United at Old Trafford in a game that has aged me. It's aged me terribly. Um, and I think you'll all agree that you've probably been aged too by it. Um, my God, the first half, we, we, look, we did the live stream for the game, those of you who watched it will know. The first half flew by. It flew by and the second half dragged immeasurably. It was like being stuck in, in, a, in, a, in, in, in glue and in, in glue in hell for 45 minutes. Um, horrible, 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 horrible watching um, that comes so close to being absolutely uh, spectacular for the Mighty Reds. Um, I'll be perfectly honest, I'm a little disappointed in ultimately in how the game went for Liverpool because I think uh, right, you know we could have snatched that at the end. Genie Wijnaldum's got, I mean, a couple of opportunities where he arrives late at the back stick. That's what he's there for in this team. And this has been my chief criticism of, of Genie Wijnaldum is He's getting in the right positions. He's getting into the box. He's receiving the football. Score some more goals, Genie. Score some more goals. Win us some more games. And it doesn't matter when you win in 4-0 and you win in 4-1. When you win in 4-1s and 5-1s and what have you, and you're battering teams, it matters when in games like this when you need to take your chances. And look, I think probably on the balance of it, the draw is probably, probably fair. And I say that only because... We were, for what, it was half an hour, to be honest, it was the vast majority of the second half. We defended for our lives. You know, we, we were sat here clenched. Chris stood up for half of the second half because he literally could not sit down. He was so nervous. And we were all, we were all, and they were, they were fizzing balls across the box and we were getting things clear and, and blah, blah, blah. And the goalkeeper's punching things and stuff. I mean, it wasn't like horrendous back to the wall, but it was enough to get you at edge. And it, it did feel like a Man United team we're going to be capable of finally breaking us down. And look, again, they get massively lucky, you know, in terms of offsides and, and what have you. You've got to give credit to Ibrahimovic for the for the, the technique behind the header. He's brilliant. He, could, he literally couldn't have put that anywhere else and scored. Mignolet's that far away from it. Alexander Arnold's that far away from kicking it off the line. And I think people like Trent Alexander-Arnold as well. I've seen a lot of United fans who are like, oh, well, we should be rinsing him. And look, he had a few sticky moments and that was definitely a, an area for them to exploit. But bear in mind, you know, they've got players who've cost... Look, how much money do, How much money is Martial going to end up costing? How much Mkhitaryan? How much Ibrahimovic? How much even fucking Fellaini? <sighs> the, and for a team that's supposed to have this massive weak link in this 17-year-old kid, a fullback, I thought he handled himself really well. And, you know, he actually did well to have a, have a shot himself in the first half, supported the attack in the second half as well. And, you know, yeah, that wasn't a performance where you go, wow, this kid is Liverpool's nailed on right back. But to come in in, in a high-pressure situation at Old Trafford at that age as well, I thought I thought he did really well. And if it's, it's either a, a credit to Trent Alexander-Arnold or it shows that Man United are not that good because if you can't rinse someone who's that age, then what? You know, why are you paying all that money for all those footballers? Um, but that's, that, that, I take great half from that from, from a Liverpool perspective. I actually don't feel too downbeat because, again, we, we could have snatched that at the end. If Man United had equalised and then they just penned us back for the rest of the game, I'd be like, Ugh! we rode our luck massively there. But, you know, we, we took the games to them at times. I think it's telling that we had more shots on target than they did. I think they had, you know, better opportunities again. The fact that they had the woodwork and the built to their goal as well, and Minya like made the best, the better saves of the two goalkeepers. But you know, for Liverpool side to go there and and do that, you know, again, and, and we should feel disappointed that we didn't come away with three points. as testament to that. And I am annoyed, but I'm not so annoyed that it's going to ruin me day. It's not going to ruin next week. Uh, I'm just confident that we'll be able to kick on. And, and, and what's great is that I actually think on the back of that result, Man United fans, and I'm just going to put this out to you. Everton just beat Man City 4-0 today. You just want to be looking over your shoulders because if that's all you can do at home with all that money spent and all those amazing players, bear in mind we had a 17-year-old kid and our best centre-half is apparently being held back because fucking the Cameroonian FA are keeping him, keeping him from playing for us when he's fit, who would have handled potentially handled your, your two target men that you decided to play with in the end. Two target men? Two target men? West Ham. Under Sam Allardyce, won't play two target men. Anyway, I digress. Uh, I think credit to, credit to Liverpool. I, I, I take that as a positive and prove that we're going to be getting better and we should be looking up the table, whereas you should be watching because uh, the Ev are coming up, coming up the hill behind you. Just saying, Ron, <laughs> Ron the Reds and Romelu and all those, and, and, and Schneiderlin, they're coming for you. They're coming for you, boys. Be prepared. Be prepared for a battle for sixth place because that's 
what your season holds. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, Liverpool fans. Um, leave your thoughts on the match in the comments, but I'll be doing your Twitter reactions. Chris will be doing his reactions, we'll be doing player ratings. Subscribe by clicking the Redmen TV logo and check out Redmen TV Freeview Week. One last video, the final word tomorrow. Cheers.